Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to look at the new Joy-Con sent by NYXI for the Nintendo Switch. This actually works for the normal Nintendo Switch, the Lite and the OLED version. I currently have the normal one, so we're going to test it out. They have also gifted me this Nintendo bag. These stickers didn't come with this, but I put it to make it look more fancy. But it's a very nice bag for the Nintendo Switch. So let's get started. So it just comes with an instruction manual and it comes with the USB type C cable. When you talk about the features of this Joy-Con, you can start by looking at this. Left side it comes with a minus button, a D-pad, T, a screenshot button, a joystick and it has a paddle m and it has a vibration control button the same on this side and on the right side it comes with the face button plus button joystick a home button and the t button mainly this t button is to change the rgb strip line colors of this i will demonstrate that once i connect it to the nintendo switch and on top we have those trigger buttons this one is a bit clicky but this one not too much but it's very comfortable while playing so let's slowly take this off it's pretty simple and these are very nice and long and very easy to remove so let's connect it to the switch let's see if this joycon is automatically recognized and can wake up the switch yep it does that's a great feature all right and what i understood is that the battery usually lasts for five and a half to six hours i've tested it out and it's pretty decent these are really comfortable it feels a bit light but uh, to be honest it feels a bit hollow and the back side is very grippy as you can see and these paddles are placed in the right place compared to other third party companies so it's very easy to just press uh, the vibration of the game is not bad guys I mean it is not the best but uh, it's not bad and uh, there is no input delay when you compare it with a lot of other third party companies everything works pretty smoothly now if i want to change the colors of the rgb strip line i just have to press t and press this changes to any color you like i usually keep the rgb color i think that looks the best and you can press this m button to replace any of the face button if you don't like to use the face buttons and if you want to use the paddle you just have to go to the setting press M and assign this to anything I usually uh, don't use much of that but it's up to you guys okay let's see how these perform when I disconnect it from the switch and fix it to the centerpiece Okay, that was fast. That, everything works pretty well. Very comfortable to use. Now this game actually reminds me of Gris. If you guys haven't played that game, please make sure to check it out. One of my favorite indie games. I love the D-pad as well, it gives you the feel of the Xbox controller. Overall what I have to say about this is it is absolutely amazing. 
and it's definitely an upgrade compared to the Joy-Con which it comes with and it's far more cheaper and uh, I had affiliated with Nixie and I put a code on the description so whenever you guys are buying you'll get a 10% off the only thing which I didn't like that much is that uh, it feels a bit light and cheap at the same time a lot of people wouldn't mind that much but uh, for me it feels a bit cheap mainly it feels a bit hollow here and apart from that one more thing is that the charging is individual so it doesn't have a main port here to charge both together you have to charge individually so that is a bit of a headache for me but it's no big deal if you ask me should I recommend this to anyone I would say absolutely yes and it is one of the premium joy cons out there which is a third party one that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed the video please make sure you guys leave a like do comment if you guys have already bought one i hope you guys don't mind subscribing to my channel until next time guys see you